Greetings comrades and welcome to another episode of Crisis in the Kremlin. Quickly I'm going to either extract resources like we are or I was going to take some money away from research. And we have a little bit of a surplus so we'll go ahead and give civil aid. And see what events we have next. Cambodia. Despite the fact that the new pro-Vietnamese socialistic government of Cambodia is less authoritarian and doesn't use blade purges, unlike the overthrown Khmers, and social conditions in the country are better than when it was ruled by monarchists, supported by the West and other opposing the U.S. Tsar countries, Red Khmers and monarchists, who created a new party led by Pol Pot, continue terrorizing the population. American government views them as real representatives of Cambodia and the UN. Now when Khmer's Marcus and our Cambodian opposition is united, we need to decide what to do. I don't understand right now. Oh, wait. Right, okay, now I understand. And yeah, this is kind of the problem. People point to Pol Pot sometimes in saying that uh, communism is evil, you know? Because Pol Pot was an awful man who just killed people because they were scholars and literates, if I remember correctly. And was in fact just a tyrannical ruler. But what people seem to forget is that he was backed by the United States. And he was, if I don't, if I remember correctly, he was funded by the United States in much of his pursuits. And so, for them, right now, the American government views them as the real representatives of Cambodia and the UN. So yeah, the Americans just say, hey, Pol Pot, you're our buddy, right? And of course, considering that uh, the Khmer's and, and Marrakis are both working together, you can kind of see why I I don't really think that Pol Pot was really a communist. Or if he was a communist, he obviously wasn't. He was obviously a very extreme and horrible communist. Because you can make a coalition with people for example, the Bolsheviks made their temporary alliance with the anarchists in the Soviet Union when they first had the Russian Revo or the October Revolution. And they had opposing views, but they were both united in the fact that they wanted to get rid of the whites. Not white people, the white army for those who like don't know much about history. And so you can have some things with opposition. Of course, in the end, the anarchists show themselves to be awful in being able to hold the front line. And they got invaded, and at that point, the Bolsheviks just kind of invaded them and took things over and collectivized everything. Because they're doing a shitty job, and it's like, why would you even have them exist if you can't rely on them? But, uh... When it's to the point where you're united with the people that want to bring about a monarchy, uh, then I think you kinda, kinda not really read. Anyway, let's see, what can we do here? We can negotiate with the most rational commerce, we can let the Vietnamese decide, we can't give up social positions and we can't ignore it. Uh, I guess we'll negotiate because I don't know what Let the Vietnam Decide does. Thanks to successful work at the KGB, Tamok receives false information about the betrayal of one of his political opponents, Sun Sen, so he told about the betrayal to Pol Pot. The result is the murder of Sun Sen and his family ordered by Pol Pot himself. Immediately, the government of Cambodia declared the amnesty in exchange for giving up rebels' positions. 
Aang Seri was the first one to respond and recruit a perm received a permission to rule Palin province. The first split led to paranoia of Pol Pot, death of some other commanders, isolation and mysterious to death of Pol Pot himself. Opposition is crushed and Cambodia is ours. So I don't even understand what just happened. We were supposed to negotiate, but apparently we just went to KGB and we sent false information to somebody who was, I guess, a... Who was also working with Pol Pot? And then, so when they got the false information about somebody who I already didn't like, eh, whatever. It's a mess. Cambodia is in fact a mess, but it's our mess now. It's a socialist republic, and we have a Soviet military base there. Let's go ahead and send a little bit of military to Nicaragua, and get some more money from Algeria. And now, now we get to work on getting Molly back up all the way to 100, as you do. So now we have a negative 80, which is quite a bit of money, but we can get that back with some resource extraction, and then assuming we can't do much, yep, we'll just take a bit of money away from medical technology, because medicine is doing fine right now. Speaking of which, how are various things in the Soviet Union doing? Right wing loyalty is very low. Left-wing loyalty is at the highest, opposition is nothing, power KGB, almost as high as it could be, freedom is down, mind liberalization is down, Ability education is way up, uh, luxury is a little bit, which is good, everything else is pretty high, though, eh. Finner's commise is apparently going down a little bit. Services might use a little bit of extra funding. So maybe, but then cultural contentment is also going down. Ah, in that case. I think we might want some more funding over there. And we'll go ahead and take money away from army and am technology just give a little buff to cultural enlightenment and we'll put more money back into research soon enough also we should uh get something over here with our technology since we do have a thousand points we can improve agriculture can improve the atom automation you know what i think we're gonna do first of all Support left terrorism. And then we're going to... I think just save up. Because we want 3,000 science points in order to get Ogas. So let's see. The anti-alcohol campaign again. Very nice. Gives us more profit. Um, let's go ahead and just, I guess, not send military aid to Algeria right now. Just keep going. Struggle against chemical weapons. A conference against chemical weapons takes place in Paris. As a result, representatives of 148 countries are ready to sign a declaration of ban of poisonous gases, chemicals, and back. What is that? Bacteriological weapons. You know what? <sighs> yeah, chemical weapons are just awful. We have nuclear weapons, but chemical weapons is something where you really do have just a slow and horrible death. At least with a nuke, 
if you die, you're probably going to die in the nuclear blast. And it's going to be before you can even realize what's going on. So let's sign the declaration. This is signed. Goody, good, good. So we have more money. And now we have more money. We can support more countries like Mauritania. And slowly... As you can see, things in the United States are lowering. And what we're going to want to do is have a lot of money available. And have a lot of troops available. Because when the United States gets low enough, we're going to want to mass support countries in order to become red. And if we can't afford to handle them all with military aid... If we just have them on our side for like, let's say, a better portion of a year, and then we just keep converting back whatever dissidents we have. Yeah, I'd say should fall. So let's see, more diplomatic missions, because I believe that just lowers the amount of decay... For relations that you have. Ooh, Romanian Revolution. Because of the horrible economic situation in Romania, poverty and hunger among its population, and gigantic debt, another wave of protests happened in the country, and soldiers shot the protesters. The electoral revolution which really heats up in Romania. Who is Kakescu? Okay, um... Looking at it, he was apparently very Stalinist, and I don't really like the term Stalinist, to be honest. Because... Hardcore Marxist-Leninist is probably what it should be. But if we are saying Stalinist, this game uses Stalinist as the term... I'll just say we support them. Because sometimes... <sighs> freedom... I don't know if I talked about this before. Political freedom is great. But... The right to really vote and all that. And uh, strike and represent yourself on a national scale. Is meaningless if you're starving. And if you don't have a job. And I don't know what the case is right here because... Party and hunger among its population. Like, socialist countries usually have almost no unemployment because everybody is put to work who can work. But, eh. I don't know, it's kind of the question of uh, freedom or security. And I definitely do think that, like, if you have the hierarchy of needs for Maslow, I suppose, then, uh, there's the very bottom tier needs, which you absolutely need to have of shelter and food, security, and all that. I think security might be the second tier, or at least part of the second tier. It's like, you need those things. You absolutely need them. Now, if you're trading away your freedom and you're not getting security, then's when you should be worried. Like, for example, right now in the United States, we have a problem where political rights are being taken away by the government with wiretapping and all that, but... It hasn't really shown that it actually helps with dealing with terrorism. Like, we don't really know how many terrorist activities have been stopped by it. 
And even if it has, then I don't know how worth it it is. But uh, let's look. Restoring relations. Relations between Egypt and USSR were served. The country has a new government which enforces a balanced foreign policy. A group of diplomats suggest to lure this most influential North African country to our side with economical preferences. What do you say? Approve of the plan. We have an economy to spare. Unless me and the ministers of foreign affairs of USSR and Euro Egypt, new treaty was signed. New nuclear power plant will be built in Alexandria and Cairo, and Soviet fleet will enter Alexandria once again. Imports of Soviet products in Egypt are awaited. Now, apparently that does a serious uh, take away from our economy. But uh, we have Egypt... And we have what looks to be a very loyal, or not at all loyal. What? I thought bright red over here means that you're very loyal. Made the other way around? Dark red is good? I kind of forget how it was at the start of the game. Ah, uh, let's... Let's quickly just take away technology funding, and then we'll call it here. So, hope you enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you next time.